It all began with this organization, Client Earth. It's a group of environmental lawyers. They took the government to court three times for failing to protect us from harmful air pollution under EU law, and they won every time. Now, in 2018, the High Court ruled that the government had to lower pollution in our towns and cities quickly, or it could be fined. The government passed responsibility for this onto our local authorities. This is a map of Greater Manchester. It shows the stretches of road which break legal limits for air pollution. It's an annual average and it's using government verified data. You can see the whole region is affected. Now, Greater Manchester was told to bring pollution levels down by 2024 and by bringing in a charging zone unless they could find another way to do the job more quickly. Well, they couldn't. Here's the guidance. It's from the government's Joint Air Quality Unit, and it says local authorities are required to shortlist and take forward for full modelling the lowest class of charging clean air zone. Now, the plan was drawn up by the 10 local authorities, but those against it focused their anger on the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham. He's always made it was clear that it was the government that made the instruction. So with that in mind, many councillors have taken it back last week when the Prime Minister said this in the Commons. It is totally wrong to uh, impose measures thoughtlessly that damage business and don't do very much to protect clean air. And I think, uh, I think the, mayor, the mayor of Manchester has done the wrong thing and I'm glad the words are like This prompted a furious response from Andy Burnham, who accused the Prime Minister of dishonest politics. He said, we can't have ministers saying things to us in private, which are then flatly contradicted by the Prime Minister at the dispatch box. Are the government requiring Greater Manchester to have a clean air zone or not. He's now thrown the ball back into the Prime Minister's court. He said if he's so opposed to a charging zone, perhaps he could increase the funding to encourage people to change their vehicles to cleaner ones. The deadline for the clean air target, by the way, has now moved back to 2026 and a whole new plan is being drawn up. Now, there's one more thing to clear up. Some local councils have said they didn't need to be part of a charging zone anyway. And that's true, but one large changing zone was regarded as the simplest solution. A local authority insider told me to include those worst areas might have resulted in 100 separate charging zones, and that, of course, would be unworkable.